team was elected into office in September at Kofuriwa. And uh, we had a, a mandate and a promise to digitize and uh, do most of our transactions online. We put together an ICT committee. And that committee was in charge of uh, making sure that the mandates that uh, were being given had been fulfilled. We put out an advert and there were 50 companies putting bits. The bits were evaluated by the committee and there was a short list of culminating in today's event. Now, the wish list that we had has about 23 items which essentially puts all our activities online, quickens the pace of every application and limits the human interest. We believe that this is a start which will propel the activities of the, uh, the highest acceptable networks in the other practice. For the start, we've been able to digitize all the records from 1877 to the present day. Every person who is a lawyer or has been a lawyer in Ghana is records. Now today, what we are going to do is to launch the first two, what we call the priority one and two items, being the online renewal of our service test license and payment of users and options and purchases. This is important because we are sure the law is that beginning this year, the service test licenses will be renewed online and it is imperative that we know that these licenses will expire on the 31st of December. So by 1st of January, the licenses have to be released as well as the first decision. Now, we decided that for the um, benefit of those persons who want to maintain the manual applications, the manual applications will run side by side the online applications. But it is our hope and desire that the manual applications will be phased out as soon as practical. So for today's event, we will demonstrate how the solicitor's license, which ordinarily takes about a minimum of about two weeks, that is the fastest way the manual system can be had, as opposed to today's uh, demonstration to show that once you have uh, all your data, you should be able to get your solicitor's license in less than 30 minutes, so long as you have you on the green list. At this point, I'll call on uh, Mr. Bukumbi to demonstrate how this system is going to work. Thank you very much. Conversion of the Ghana Association processes to the online uh, environment, beginning with um, sources test license, and then also application for children's license and renewal of children's license. Uh, then also payment of GB dues and application for privilege uh, license. Uh, this is the first set of uh, GPA processes. We are going to look at the social license uh, from now. Uh, as the acts have been submitted to lawyers already, after this launch, an email will go to all lawyers that will uh, inform lawyers on how to access uh, the, the portal or the website. And that email will also contain an instruction manual on how to use the, the portal. Uh, and then it will also include a YouTube, YouTube site uh, which will capture what is going on here today. And that's been done for a purpose. We are pre announcing to lawyers how CLEs are going to be done in the future. So if there's a CLE which is being presented by somebody, 
uh, whilst the CLE is being presented, there's a video capture of it. Uh, GBA will have, is going to have a, a YouTube channel uh, so that any lawyer anywhere in the country uh, or anywhere else, even outside the country, will be able to participate in the, in the CLE by visiting the GBA uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so we are beginning with, with, with today's, today's session. So once you get onto the site, uh, like I said, you will be told how to get there. Uh, you meet this screen, which says social license, Ghana Bar Association social license renewal. Uh, you either log in or register if you're a new user. So if this is the first time you are visiting the site, you obviously want to log in. And I, if, this demonstration is a live demonstration. It's, it's a live internet connection, so we are doing what we really will, will do. And this you can do from anywhere, using a mobile phone, using a computer from your home or from your office. So we are here, uh, I, go, I click register. Uh, because I'm a new user, uh, I click register, so I'll be registered. When you come to this screen, you tell us what your PAN number is. We don't we don't just want your name. Uh, so you tell us your bar number. Uh, once you put your bar number in, you click, and then it tells you what your name is. Uh, this is to be sure that uh, we know who we are dealing with. Okay. Uh, as lawyers, we know the implication of logging on to the site and using somebody else's bar number. Uh, so you are told this is my bar. You are saying this is my bar number and this is my name. Okay, so if you proceed, I don't need to inform, tell you what the implications are. Okay, so once you get on, username doesn't have to be your own name. You can choose any username that you want. So anybody who wants to fake you mm -hmm. will have to then guess uh, what username you used. So, um, I say I use Kweku as my username, and then you have to produce, tell us what, give us an email address. Uh, this email address has to be a valid email address. Reason being that your social license is going to be generated and posted to you in your email, uh, in your email box. Even though yes, you have access to it in your, your portal. So, and then subsequent mm -hmm. communication will also. Uh, go to your email box. So you will have to let us know what your email address is. Then you create a password. And so it has to be at, at least six characters long. It's always advisable when you're creating a password to mix numbers and letters. But make sure that you will, you, you will remember. So you will have to confirm the password. And then there's the, it says, now it says by clicking to proceed below, you affirm that the information and data you have provided on this form are true and that you are not knowingly submitting information which is untrue, misleading, or false. So I click register. So having clicked register, I have now been registered onto the Canada Association portal. You do this once. If I say change picture, it will allow me to put uh, to put my picture there. For now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but the reason why it will be useful to have your picture there is that so when it comes to generation of ID cards, for instance, then uh, the regions will be able to generate ID cards uh, through through the system. Also, notice that where your picture is, right hand corner, top corner, uh, this is where your picture and your name is. If you click on this, a small menu opens. If you want to change your password, that's the last way to do it. If you want to log out of the system, that's where to do it. Okay. So, I need to edit my profile. Uh, so I go to edit profile. At edit profile, I need to provide some information on my 
itself. Uh, title, and if you see a star against the, the, the field, it means the compulsory field. If you do not provide that information, the software will not proceed to the next report. Okay, so I have, I have put in the required information. Uh, if, I, if you meet any required information, you will not be allowed to proceed. Now, uh, one of the projects we're going to do down the line, the president was talking about 23 items uh, on our wish list, uh, is something, something we call the loyal locator, which is going to be open to the whole world. So on our website, if somebody, somebody goes on our website and the person says, I'm looking for a lawyer in Ghana uh, who has this, speci this specialty. Okay, that person will do that, put in a, a little query, and then uh, the website will then pop up and say, okay, I, I, know, I know about 10 lawyers uh, in Ghana who are people who practice in these locations, and they have a specialty I'm looking for. So uh, we lawyers know how to advertise. So this is a very good, uh, that's going to be a central place for the public to be able to reach, uh, reach lawyers. Uh, I want to renew my license. You've already told us you are Mr. Makuta Robert, your email is here, your telephone number, your regions are here. Uh, your previous social license is required. Uh, so you are required to tell us that. Have you been found guilty of misconduct? No. You say yes, you still get your license. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's say, let me just fake, uh, put in the fake uh, chambers number. If the chamber's number is wrong and I click, I click submit, I get an error message uh, that says uh, your chamber's number is then back. Okay. So we fed all the chamber, chamber's numbers into the database. So when you, when you put in the chamber's number, you run through the database to see if your chamber's really exists. Just like, as President was saying, the database of lawyers uh, from 1877 to 6,975, all of them are in the database. So if you put in a number, you can, you can check to see if you are there. I proceed to make payments. Okay. So for this demo, it costs two pesos to renew your license. Uh, so we are, because this is. Like I said, this is real. So, you select your payment method. I've been graciously given an MTN number. Confirm the payment for me. Okay, so Visa, Slide Pay, Tigo, uh, Airtel Cash. Then also, uh, Provision is being made for people who still want to pay with, with check. So you will pay, get a voucher. But what it means is that the, the speed of the payment is what's going to be determined. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So Mr. Prabhu Dabrawa do data six. Day of December 2018, here is your practicing certificate. The manual and the online systems are going to run side by side. So the uh, number is, has a preference of E. So once you see the preference of E, you know the person generated it online. Okay. You can print it. So if I click print license, uh, a print menu will show up and whatever printer you have attached to your machine can, can print it. But simultaneously, this license is gone into my email box. I can log out, I can change my password, um, but 
basically within a few minutes, uh, your license has been renewed. Thank you very much. It took us about three weeks to develop. Yes. And uh, I must commend the Texas Business team. A lot of diligence. They, they put in a lot of hard work. And uh, the committee of supervising them did not give any inch of water. It is significant to note that the Texas was the second company. Yes. The first company was some people to deliver wanted to change yeah. but uh, this shows you that our team was able to put its foot down and say that if we are not going to deliver we are going to the next person so this is advice that our team is given to the whole country and let's take to principle and let's take to our word we want to give special mention the ICT committee, which was put up and uh, headed by uh, Mr. Justin Amenuro and uh, Ms. Susan Yanko and uh, Mr. Kutubu. Of course, it was supervised in essence by the National Secretary of this team. But we give special mention and special recognition to those individuals for their sacrifice to the bar. They will not be paid a penny. Uh, well, that is another consideration. But we really thank them for their sacrifice, of their time, and their knowledge to make this a reality. And we promise that uh, moving forward, we believe that it is a good time to.